Hi, Eddie. Hi. Night to remember for you and the, and the team. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, good. I mean, obviously good. I think so, so pleased for the players, for what they gave tonight, what they've given me since I've come to the football club. That was just a, a really good night for them and, and for us. And just felt like such a good feeling for the whole football club with the supporters so united with us. And um, yeah, I'm very, very pleased. How difficult was it to play against PSG's front four like that? You were almost man for man at times, but it looked like you got the balance perfect between press, knowing when to press and when to, to step back and sit off. Yeah, it was a, a, a difficult game tactically. I thought it was two very good teams going up against each other and I thought we had to try and unbalance them. We had to try and uh, make it difficult for them. To, to build from the back, we knew they would. You know, that's their style. That's the philosophy of a, a brilliant manager. And so we had to try and unsettle them. And I thought our crowd helped us do that. I thought we delivered a really good pressing performance. As you say, we were man for man at the back against elite players. But for me, that's our best way, especially here. That's our best way to um, to be successful. And but the players deserve a lot of credit for how they implemented that. Eddie, even in your wildest dreams, could you have envisaged the game going the way it did for you? Um, well, we hoped that we could, um, as I said, implement what we wanted to do onto them. Um, but I thought it was a, an even game. I thought they had some moments where they hurt us. Um, I thought we had some moments where we hurt them. I thought we scored the goals at good times. Um, delighted with the players that scored, you know, for their individual sort of recognition. Um, but to score four goals, it wasn't necessarily something that we expected to do, but I'm just delighted that um, we were able to do that in front of our supporters and I think it's a really special night. Um, you've always said you can never have too many Geordies in your team to see two of them on the score sheet tonight, but f um, three of those players were here fighting a relegation battle when you arrived, Fabian Schaal, Miguel Amiron and Sean Longstaff. How happy are you for them in particular that they've had this moment of glory? Yeah, as I said, the, the I really do respect the people that um, the Geordies, as you say, that have had sort of lifelong associations with the club and um, understand what it means to play for Newcastle, have a unique experience, really. So for Sean to score as he did and play like he did and, and for Dan, they're, they're amazing moments in their careers. But, you know, going from the, the difficult moment that we were in to, to, to now, I think it's a great lesson for, for us not to get ahead of ourselves. You know, we, we've come a long way in a short period of time, but... We want to keep going and we take nothing for granted. So, amazing night, but we've got to continue to work hard for more. Eddie, what would you hope the effect would be on the collective belief to do something like that to a club that has so much Champions League experience over the course of recent times? Because I guess it's, you know, it has to be an unknown, doesn't it, to go to that level to play against those clubs? Yeah, I think it goes without saying, we hope that gives us that inner belief that we need to be successful in this competition. I think against Milan in our first game, there was an element of us not quite hitting the levels that we expected of ourselves. Um, but I think it's only by doing that you can truly prove to yourself that you can you can do it consistently. I think today we'll go a long way, hopefully, to, to prove that. But as I said, we have so many difficult games to come in this competition that it's a, it's a small step forward, um, but there's still a long, long way to go. The next game in, the, in this competition will be hugely important, but that goes to the back of our minds now as we focus back onto the Premier League and West Ham. Hi, Eddie. You've obviously given great players, praise to your players, but can you rank that amongst the great nights or the great moments of your life? And also, can you say what the atmosphere was like to be at pitch side? Yeah, the atmosphere was, was very special. I, I knew it would be. Um, it's an amazing place to play football, regardless of the competition, but I think there was an extra level tonight. I can't thank the supporters enough for what they gave the team and how they helped us uh, in the game. Personally, I always say this, it's a very difficult thing to rank. I, I, I never spend time doing it. Um, you're just always on to the next challenge, but I, I, I hope there's a lot more nights like this to come. Uh, that's, that's my wish. Does, does it feel special for you, for you and the team, though? Uh, yeah, you can't. I'm not downplaying it, it's a very special moment for, for all of us. But the most important thing is special for Newcastle. And I think any personal thing always takes a back seat because the, the club's the most important thing. Um, just a word on Jamal Lascelles, a player who sort of earned his name and earned his captaincy standing up for this club in its time of need during a relegation season. For you as manager, how proud and how pleased were you with his performance and to see him lead 
lead the club out on such a historic night for this club? Yeah, so pleased for Jamal. I think I said countless times last year how good his attitude was, how well he'd trained, um, how good he'd been for the group. But ultimately, he, he's desperate to show how good he is on the pitch. Uh, the biggest compliment I can pay him is that he stepped in and he's he's really stepped up to the challenge and I think he's performed really, really well in the um, the last group of games that we've had. He tra had to train so well to continue to develop his game while he wasn't playing. And my inner belief was always that he'd improved with the team, even though he wasn't in the, the starting eleven. And his game was in a really good place. And um, I think he proved that tonight. So we're delighted for him. It's a real testament to his attitude and his character.